New Zealand's known as a country of water lovers uh, and I've been here a little over two months now. I've been on the water once. I'm going to head down to the ferry terminal today. I'm going to see what the cheapest ferry I can catch is and hopefully catch one back as well because I don't really want to get stuck on the North Shore. You can't quite tell if they're meant to be Christmas lights or just some kind of really, really bad light. Okay, I've made it down to the waterfront. It's now raining. It's windy. I don't think it's probably uh, ideal weather to get on a boat. But look at this massive yacht. Yacht is the wrong word. Look at this massive container ship. Let's see. That's the boat we're going to get on. Okay, it looks like you just scan on and... Davenport, 10 minutes ride. It's one to two o'clock. This is kind of proving easier than I expected. It might get a bit tougher when we're on open water. A bit choppier.
bridge to a kind of like uh, like riding the log flume at theme park in England. Only it costs a lot less than getting into Holton Towers. Now we've got to spin it around and park it. dollars and a cent left. I reckon that was under four dollars. Not even two quid for a beautiful 20 minute ferry ride. If you did that when the sun was out, you see the harbour bridge, navy base, you see all the harbour and all these big ships and you get an awesome, awesome view of Auckland CBD. Like you don't get a view that good even from the sky tower of getting yourself on Auckland's cheapest, fastest, wettest cruise. Uh, we were all over the place. <laughs> 